you too. And we're out there scouting bear. I don't know if you guys see my pages and stuff, but we had a bear that was around our camp, right? By my other, my, my other house. And the way that he was routing, everybody would always leave their trash in these bins. You're supposed to take care of your shit. And the trash bins would always be over, but I saw that he was rounding out. He was going further and further out and getting closer and closer and closer at camp. So I told my coach, I was like, let's scout him. And my coach just got back from Africa and hunting. And he just killed a couple of wildebeest and some sables and some other shit. And that's where my trip is going to be next. And so um, it's a little different, man. I told him, I was like, let's go, let's go bait this bear. And we actually did. And we caught him in our trash. It was funny. As it, I mean, does anybody say, how about we just stay inside, Tony, and not do that? that <laughs> no, because immediately as soon as we saw it, what do we do? I made everybody go for a walk with me. <laughs> and it was the middle of nothing. And we all lost power for how long? Like almost a day. So when we lost power, I mean, I had no AC. I, I put myself in the worst position possible to go. My camp was really cool. I'm going to be real with you. They had the nicer cabin, myself and my wife and my kids. We had the one which wasn't so nice because I needed to have that. I needed to get back to Rocky style where I needed to get that grunge in again. And with the bear, it was cool. It wasn't like I wanted to go and hurt him, but I wanted to scout him. I wanted to see how, how good I was. And I'm pretty f***ing good. Found his water table, found his food supply, found out where his route was, found everything that was, and then boom, there he goes. And on our way out, he gave us a little salute.